Crunch is a Beautiful Sound was written by Dr. Chandra. You can find it on the SCP Wiki and a link in the description below. It is under a Creative Commons Share Alike Attribution 3.0 license. It appears the D-Class has fouled up Crunchy's bi-weekly cleaning again. Oh, and by Crunchy, I mean 173. I've never really cared for the nickname The Sculpture. I think Crunchy captures his essence much more effectively. I'm sorry, it's not his. I know I'm not supposed to anthropomorphize these things, but it's hard. When it's your job to understand something, how could you not try to get inside its head? Take right now, for instance. Two D-Class just had their necks snapped. And the third's giving his all to the most important staring contest of his life. He's Amy bonding it, blinking one eye at a time. I've been told that doesn't work, but Crunchy isn't moving. Why wouldn't it work, after all? We don't know, because we don't know why Crunchy can only move when no one's looking. If it really is some sort of quantum wave function, then the whole Amy Pond thing should work. Of course, it could have nothing to do with quantum wave functions. Maybe he's just shy. Besides, if Amy Ponding doesn't work, then what would happen if someone with one eye looked at Crunchy? Actually, we should test that. Out of all the D-Class we have here, some of them have got to have only one eye. No one's ever sent them to 173 for testing. Did we stop using iPods on this? Was that back when we stopped cross-testing everything just because we could? Ugh, those were the days. Mr. Pond is still holding his own in there. He's backed up against the door and screaming to be let out. I should open it, but I can't help but think that Crunchy might be faking. It's an access control vestibule, of course, so even if he gets through the door, it won't do him any good. But I can't shake the feeling that he knows something I don't. Little scamps broken out of containment more than once, after all. Sometimes I wonder why he does what he does. No one's ever seen him move. Or if they have, they don't live to tell about it. And all the video feeds of him are either static or blue screens of death unless there's someone with him. But we can still hear him scraping the walls of his cell. And why does he kill everyone on sight? I mean, who does that? What does he get out of it? He doesn't eat the bodies or use them for anything. And if it was for pleasure, you'd think he'd take his time, like the old man. No, he's just a monster, with no rhyme or reason, just a boogeyman to scare people. And the bloodied shit that lines his cell. You should probably see a doctor about that. And how can you make shit without food? Answer me that. His file should probably be classified as ectoentropic, but it's not for some reason. I really wish we could find out where Crunchy comes from. It's probably nothing special, just... Something a random an artist whipped up in the garage or something. On the other hand, Crunchy's got a bit of an aura about him. I've heard people say he's the original before, but I don't know why. He's not the first SCP, at least I don't think he is. Then again, everyone knows these numbers aren't chronological, and rumor has it that all the SCP-001 files are just misinformation. What if he is the first? It says he was transferred to Site-19 in 1993, but who knows how long we've had him. What if he's not just the first, maybe he's the source. What if he was the first anomaly, and that single breach in the laws of physics was enough to allow the whole load of anomalous freaks and monsters and objects to flood into our reality? That is a strange thought. If 173 never existed, then... Would Herman Fuller's circus never exist as well? Would all of the other skips, GOIs, would the Foundation never have existed without 173? I think I may have just blown my own mind. Well, I'll probably get in trouble if I don't let Mr. Pond out. I'm probably in trouble already, letting him scream for so long. The Ethics Committee has been really cracking down on D-class abuse lately, but it's really just a budgetary thing. We can't burn through these guys like we used to. I'll just open the door to the inner vestibule and... <sighs> Fuck. The feet just cut out. 
That's fine. I'll look at my file, see what I'm supposed to do next. It says if he starts acting weird, I'm supposed to contact my HMCL supervisor? What the bloody hell is an HMCL supervisor? Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday.